Hey love, so it's your girl April and today's video is of course going to be somewhat of a makeup slash brush slash announcement slash whatever type of haul. Okay, so first of all, if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, or even watch any of my latest videos for Real Talk, then you're probably not aware that I do have a makeup line out now, which is just not even like a full makeup line, but it is just basically a collection of lipsticks. Um, so I was in collaboration with um, GuruGlamMakeup.com, and I will post their information up below, of course, uh, where you can pick up my lipsticks. But yes, I wanted to share that with you guys because, like I said, this is kind of like a makeup slash make a brush kind of haul you know whatever a mishmash kind of thing so before we even get started the hair that I'm wearing is actually something that I created and it was using hair from Aliexpress and I did use box dye which is the cream of nature to get it this very beautiful kind of like chocolatey rich brown and the lipstick that I'm wearing is actually one of mine and this is the color smooches so first of all the lipstick brand or my lipstick brand does come in these boxes right here and it says um, Guru Glam Lips Extreme and this is the summer 2016 collection with Muffin is my lover so each of my lipsticks are picked named um, by me as well as formula and consistency and color is named by me and chosen by me and created by me so the packaging looks just like this it's just something really sleek and dark and it is a matte lipstick the color that I'm showing right here is the color called smooches darkish color red and um, I like this color red because for once I finally can find a red that really goes with me if any of you remember my website which was smooches accessories and it kind of you know resembled lips and so forth that is the reason why I named it the next one is called no filter which I have been told many times by my children my eldest daughter that I have no filter I don't really hold back what I'm saying so I decided to name this very light matte kind of like orangey color peach color no filter and that is this here and these are very moisturizing to the lips. The first time that I wore them, I thought that I was kind of like wearing like a lip balm, kind of like a chapstick. Um, so yes, they do um, moisturize. They do moisturize your lips a lot. This one is called Gemini. And if those of you know me really well, I am a Gemini, born June 19, 1974. Okay, so you guys can do the math and figure out how old I am. But... I wanted something to signify who I am and I love very light lipsticks very kind of like nude lipstick so as for who I am as a Gemini and what colors I do like I would prefer more or less a very kind of like light lipstick and that's kind of like my signature color for everyday everyday makeup looks you know? now this one here is called Sweetums and this one is named after my very first grandson and grape flavored anything to me is always kind of sweet I love grape um, soda um, that is one of the favorite sodas that I would drink next to Pepsi but I always drank grape soda and I loved grape soda so that is the reason why I did the purple and named it after my grandson because he could be kind of tricky sometimes he's got a little fizzle and a sizzle to him but he's still sweet and we call him Sweetum so of course I had to name Sweetums after him this one here is after my second grandson, which is my sweetheart. We're together every single day. But I just came out of nowhere and just started calling him Tinky Man, Tinky Man, Tinky Man. And with him, he is just so bright and vibrant. And he's just, I don't know, I really can't explain him. He is bright and vibrant. And he's just so, he's articulate. He's very smart. He just... He just lightens up my day a lot. And me, I love pinks. I love any color pink. So I decided to just do a bright, vibrant pink. And it reminds me a lot of him because he is my Tinky Man. So, of course, this one is named Tinky. And it's more or less a very, very bright pink. And pink is like one of my favorite colors. So, of course, one of my favorite colors had to be named after him because we're together all the time. And the last one and the least is called Moved On. And you guys know I moved from New York to Arizona and I moved on a lot of things in life. I just moved here. Um, the first thing that I noticed, it wasn't the very first thing, but I remember waking up one day. It was like really, really early. It was probably like 5 o'clock. And it kind of looked like the sky was on fire from just looking out of my balcony. And it was kind of like an orange colored sky. It was kind of like freaking me out. So I got up and I took this picture. It was basically the sun rising and it was like this orange and red color. And with this one, I named it Moved On 
because it is a very bright orange color which reminded me a lot of the sky so yes so I will post the information below of where you can get my lipstick line at and just keep in mind that if you spend $50 you do get free shipping just use the code SHIP50 and you'll get free shipping the new lipsticks are um, liquid lipsticks by Milan so first of all I did get like this really really cool faux leather pouch and inside is the sleeve and it just says beat the summer heat with lips and eyes that last so this is their a more matte metallic lip creams so it did come in like I said this black faux leather bag but it also has like one of these cute kind of like gold satchels so I did receive 10 of the colors and I do believe that is the entire collection now for one they are very chic and very very pretty in color and they do stay on all day the only thing that kind of like turned me off about them was the smell the odor it kind of reminded me of actual play-doh the actual play-doh brand clay that kids will play with it kind of reminded me of that other than that the colors are very intense very metallic very matte and very very longevity wear they do last long so this one here that I have is the raving this is called raving matte and it's more or less like this very purple color which is gorgeous and a couple of coats will last you throughout the entire day. Now the next color, which I love colors like this, Chromatic Addict. Very catchy name. And the color is so pretty. It's more or less like a golden kind of like bronzy color. But like I said, the only thing that I'm really not pleased with is the actual odor, the scent of it. A deeper color um, gold, more or less like a bronzy. This is Pure Madness. And I like this color a lot. This one is a wine color, which is really, really pretty. Oh, pretty problematic. This one is materialistic. Pinks. I think this pink is like a gorgeous color. This I probably would put on top of my Tinky brand lipstick. This would probably be gorgeous on top of it because it's kind of like in the same color family. And this one is Dramatic Diva. Do you see that pink? This is like a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Very, very pretty. The next pink in the line, Cinematic Kiss. It reminds me of like a rose kind of color. Very like a light color, a light petal pink. color. This is more or less like a coral color. And this one is Matte About You. Um, this is probably like a great color to wear over either Sweetums lipstick that I have. Um, and this is called Automatic Touch. And the last one in the a more matte lipstick color collection is Madly in Love, which is kind of like in between a wine and a pink color. They do last. The colors are very, very pretty. The only issue that I have with this collection is the scent. Like, it reminds me of actual Play-Doh. So if you guys have experienced this collection and you have smelt it, please leave your comments below and let me know what you think. Now, this here is their Stay Put Matte Liquid Eyeliner, a matte liner. And these are the four colors that they sent me was the Midnight, the Black, Coffee, which is more or less a brown, and Sapphire. So I basically want to try out the black one because I want to see how intense it is. I have a lot of eyeliner from Milani, which I love. I will give them kudos. Their makeup line, their eyeliner line is like fabulous. I really, really do like their eyeliner. Um, any eyeliner that they put out is like amazing. So I use their eyeliner on a daily basis. So this one here is a liquid liner. And once you shake it, you do hear like the metal bead inside. Which just basically lets you know that it is working and you're shaking it. And, and you do have a sponge applicator kind of like brush. Which is probably a lot easier opposed to like the regular brushes that kind of like get all out of whack especially when it's a liquid eyeliner so it does go on really smooth and the black on it is really really dark and intense so I do like that I love a really really dark eyeliner like seriously I'm gonna try this out real quick 
Okay, I'm going to be honest. I wish I would have opened this packaging a week ago when I got this stuff. I was trying to wait to show on camera because I was like fighting with my own eyeliner. But, and I'm not really great with putting on any type of eyeliner because especially with liquid, my hands get a little shaky and then the brush goes all over. But this was so easy to apply. So I did not apply any to this eye, but I did apply it to this one. And do you see the difference? This is very dark and the application with this particular sponge makes it so much easier to apply so I am really really loving this right about now and for me when I apply um, liquid eyeliner it always seems to get on my lashes which with this really really a great product so yes hmm I think this is going to be like one of my new favorite liners only because of the applicator. Really, really great um, applicator. Yes. So that is the Milani. And like I said, the colors are really pretty. As you can see, once it dulls down and it dries, these liquid lipsticks dry. Do you see the intensity of them? They are very well pigmented. They are a very matte color. They dry very matte. And they, they, they just have this beautiful metallic shine to them. So like when you rub them together, you get like this weird funky color, but they're just gorgeous. But the only thing, like I said, is I really don't like the smell. Okay, so much. the next product is from a company uh, which is international based and it's called lighttake.com. They did email me and ask me did I want to do a review. So I decided to get some makeup brushes. So this one here is the knockoff brand to the um, Real Techniques. And I really don't think it's like a knockoff brand but um yes and if it is so what they're makeup brushes and I do like the feel of these makeup brushes they're really really soft so in the collection there are five of them and Real Techniques does have the same brand and the orange ones as told by one of my dear good friends is for your face so I was excited to try these because I have seen these by Real Techniques like I said they are just like the Real Techniques one I think like a lot of these brands I've noticed like even even with the Sonia Kashuk brushes like this one here these are the Sonia Kashuk but I did find these on eBay the exact same exact same the only difference was Sonia Kashuk's name was on these but they was the exact same the exact same density the exact same softness and the color and everything so I bought them for my daughter and she loves them they're identical so I think like a lot of brands what they do is they'll just purchase like in bulk and place their name on it as a product so I'm not saying that this is something that Real Techniques does but they resemble Real Technique brushes to a T and I like them because they are very, very soft and they are just multi-purpose. They're for your face and you do get five of them in a set. You can stand them up on your vanity if you want, but they are really, really great makeup brushes to use. So if you're on a budget, but you cannot, um, but you want the entire set, then I would highly suggest checking these out. This is the stipulating brush, dual fibers. I love this brush right here. And I love Real Techniques. I do um, own their beauty sponge, which I rave about but um yeah and i do have some of their real authentic brushes that are real techniques and they work just as well but i have seen these in actual stores like ulta's and honestly you would not be able to tell the difference between the real techniques and this one except for there is no name on it but other than that these brushes are really really great brushes so I will be using these in a makeup tutorial, um, like I said. Now the next brush set that I did get from them, I actually do already own this brush set, but I own it in a more or less metallic pink color, which I absolutely love the color of this brush set. So these are like the fake Artiste brushes or what have you. They all work the same. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to spend all that on a brush. Um, some of these brushes are kind of awkward to use, so I do have the entire set of these, which was sent to me and I did do a makeup look with them and I will be posting that video up soon if not already um, but this time around I did get the black set and like I said they're really affordable now would you use all of them no I actually would not use every last brush I have to, I did use every last brush in my makeup tutorial but some of them are kind of awkward to use they do come with 10 each set does come with 10 and like I said these are more or less like the knockoff artiste I like the pink one they did didn't have any other colors but black but if you're not choosy like that and you really don't care then by all means go for it but I will tell you this they are kind of awkward to use but especially the eyeshadow ones but if you're going to just use them for like foundation or something
so forth then they're amazing to use so yes um if i was to compare them with each other they're basically like the same the same exact brush the same size and so forth what have you um the one trick to using these brushes are some people they do break theirs um because they're holding them like this Place your finger on the back of these brushes and hold them so that way they're not bending. But this one is more of a very flexible type of material so they do bend um, but I'm pretty sure over time you will basically wear them out. Now the one good thing about the black one opposed to the pink one, uh, me, I'm kind of like rough on the pink one so of course some of the pink coloring right here is wearing off but as for the black ones you don't have that issue but like i said they're really great brushes especially for like foundation and highlight now for the smaller brushes like this i just found it really really awkward to do my makeup with them especially for like eyeshadow looks but for foundation highlight somewhat kind of like a contour you can it depends on what type of you know makeup you're using like if it's a cream contour but i do like these brushes but as for eyeshadow i wouldn't say using them for any type of eyeshadow look because they kind of like tug on your eyelids you know what i'm saying so yes but with this set i have seen a lot of knockoff sets um which were really expensive like a hundred dollars i'm not gonna pay a hundred dollars but these i think are like 20 bucks and 20 bucks is a good deal you can find these basically all over the internet some people sell them for more but theirs was really fairly um oh god it keeps falling on fairly exp um, inexpensive so i do like that but my favorite one is this pink one because it's just pink and metallic -y and yeah it's just really so hot and cool so yes i will post their information below and these are the same sellers from the actual um Knock off real techniques brushes. It is one of my favorite companies where I get underwear from every month, and it's the Splendies slash Voluptuous. Because if you are curvy, then of course you will need to go to Voluptuous.com, which is like extra large or one X sizes, you know, for us curvy girls. So this is a monthly panty subscription. You do get three pairs of underwear for $13.99, I do believe, and you can choose what type of garments, undergarments you like. So this month I did get these hot ass pink lace panties with the lace detailing right here kind of like shoe tie lace it up these are really amazing because I love lace panties and these are really pink so yes 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 which are the thongs um, I don't really wear a lot of thongs but when I do um, I do like them to be very comfortable so with this the string is not too thin I have gotten some which the string was kind of like too thin and I don't really want to talk about that but yeah I don't like the string too thin okay and then the last pair which i think are probably my favorite on, out of the pack is these right here which are cotton i love cotton panties and they just say love on them if you can even see that but they're peach color and they do have the ratching but i love cotton panties because they're so comfortable and breathable but yes so all the information for these companies will be posted for you girls and guys below make sure you check out my makeup brand support your girl you know what i'm saying buy one lipstick at least and as always stay diva and divalicious and i'll see you guys on the next video